Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at Audio Damage's Rough Rider Stereo Compressor. Uh, it's another free compressor and I forgot where I found this one but the link will be in the description. Uh, this one uh, is a little bit different to all the other compressors. So if we was to look at a, another compressor side by side, just give me two seconds whilst I search for this. It does help if I type in the right thing, but if you look at uh, Pro C2 as an example, uh, here we are. Uh, you've got your usual controls, which are highlighted in larger knobs here, which are threshold, ratio, attack, and release. And on the Rough Rider, we only have the ratio, the attack, and the release. We don't have a threshold. So this threshold must be already set. Um, and then that's all the sound is basically determined on the settings of everything, but more so the sensitivity uh, and the ratio on how it squashes the sound. So everything applies the same. So it's the attack is how slow or fast it is. It's clearly labeled. And same with the release ratio. There is no markers or indication as to where it is at all. I'm just checking on screen. Um, so you've got like a one to one ratio and then just guess basically up to infinity. Um, and then we have the sensitivity, which is either set low or high. And then we have the makeup gain uh, and an active switch for whatever reason. It's quite fancy on there. Um, so how does it sound is the question we need to ask. Uh, let's start playing this. I'm just going to turn sensitivity up high just to keep the volume down to start with. So we're playing it on this synth here. Okay, so as you can hear, it's extremely squashed. Uh, so we're going to bring down the sensitivity and I'm going to bring the ratio down to about here, which I'm going to guess is 3 to 1, maybe 4 to 1 there. And then bring the sensitivity down. And then I'm going to bring up the release because we want the snappiness and transient detail to come through. And then we want a fairly fast release. Sounds about reasonable there. Sensitivity down a little bit more. I'm just going to aim for it to stay around this area. And then you can boost the volume then to taste. Okay. So one thing that I've not explained about it, and I've not really read into it, is it has some form of saturation and possibly a low pass on there as well. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but if you listen to this synth before and after, so again, let's just listen to this synth, you'll hear there's a little bit of a difference. So this is with the plugin on. And then this is with it off. So as you can hear, the, the synth is a lot brighter. It's a lot more top, on, top end on there and a lot more transient detail. Let's turn it back on. So it's had a distortion. There is a, definitely an element of saturation on there and it does chop those top ends off. So let's see if we can add that top end by reducing the sensitivity. So we'll turn the makeup down. If we reduce the sensitivity and possibly increase the attack, I don't think it's going to do too much. Uh, maybe we can get some of that top end back. Let's have a look. Now, there is a clear uh, like low pass hanging over the top end of this. Um, so we don't have control over the threshold uh, and we don't have control over the top. So I would probably be more inclined to use this for support melodies where it, the high end detail is not needed uh, and bass lines because you do kind of a roll off. It depends on what type of music you're making, but uh, especially like a trans bass line, you would be rolling off some of the lower frequencies. So let's like pick this one here, for example. Um, I'm just going to disable that rough rider on there so I know to remove it later. Okay, so we have this bass sound and if I attach the Rough Rider to that, feel the power, feel the power. 
So we've got Drum Squisher on at the moment. I'm using the just a touch and then building it up from there because Gone Nuclear is just everything maxed out near enough. But it brings out a lot of detail. So I'm just using just a touch and then we can edit it ourselves. Okay, so we want some transient data still. Sounding okay about there. I want the release to be really fast. Let's turn this ratio up because this is the only control we have. It's almost like the ratio and threshold are mixed together. Okay, so let's have a listen to this without this preset on. It undoubtedly does make a huge difference. Um, using conservatively, you could uh, put this on a drum boss and make everything just glue nicely. It's got a really good gluey texture to it. Let's just have a listen to that in context. Uh, removing this synth, that's correct. So this is what we had before. And this is what we have after. Obviously way too loud. It just it introduces a lot more beef. So if you're looking to add beef into your basses, I definitely recommend this Audio Damage Rough Rider. This is actually the first time I've used it. Um, I quickly tested it on this synth up here. Uh, just to get some characteristics and just hear what the differences are from any other compressor. Um, and then just putting on this bass now is it's just me experimenting. So this is first time for me using it, and I highly recommend it because it sounds really good. Using that conservatively, that's maybe a little bit overpowered because I've already kind of mixed and balanced all this area. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got a place uh, in my plugins. So, uh, yeah, if you like this, pre this preset, if you like this plugin, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll leave the link to the free download as well. Uh, and also hit the like button if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the video, and hit subscribe and that bell icon to make sure you see my uploads every, uh, every week. Do two loads, two loads. I need to really rethink my strategy here. Uh, I do two uploads uh, per week, but we're in the March Marathon and I'm uploading every single day. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.